Welcome back. In the latest release of Copilot, I'm excited to announce that what started as an assistant for your Steam stack, we've now been able to expand into a multi-purpose AI companion. So with this release, Copilot can now deliver actionable threat intelligence right at your fingertips, keep you up to date with the latest cyber news from around the globe, uh, search and summarize our internal knowledge base to provide further details around some of the components that we use within our stack and even provide an attack surface view, helping you identify exposure points before attackers do. So in today's video, we'll dive into each of these new capabilities, show you how they work and walk through real world examples of how they can transform your security operations. So stick around and we'll jump into it. So with the latest release of Copilot, you will need to pull our latest images of Copilot. You'll see now within our AI chatbot that we have some new uh, tools that we can actually invoke. So in a previous video, we covered Copilot, Wazoo Manager, Indexer, and Velociraptor. And now we wanted to take kind of our AI chatbot to the next level um, by some introducing, for example, the ability to access threat intelligence. So I can now get what is the IP reputation of, let's say, an IP address and get back real-time results. So here we can get a summary of the IP address 80.94.93.119, which has indeed been flagged to be malicious, uh, identifying associated with malware, some botnet, botnet activity, and other suspicious behavior. So what if I want to look at uh, a domain? Let's say, for example, what analysis can you give about the main name? Let's just say sockfortress.co. Maybe, for example, I saw an endpoint within my environment here attempt to resolve a domain that I'm maybe not familiar about, and I want to get some more insight and information about that particular domain. Of course, you could leverage other online tools within your browser, such as Whois, uh, taking it to virus total, et cetera. But we wanted the ability to bring that and uh, bring that functionality directly into Copilot. And so here I can see that I'm getting a high level overview of the domain name of sockfortress.co. Here, uh, the AI chatbot has picked up this registered with GoDaddy. That's true. It registered in 2021. Wow. We've been at this for a while now. Thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in throughout these years. I really appreciate it. Here we can get some other details in terms of name servers uh, and some more details about the particular domain. And apparently the AI chatbot considers us a professionally managed domain. So I guess, thanks for the reassurance. Um, we also have other uh, features as well, such as cyber news. So I can uh, query the cyber news feature for what are the latest cyber threat headlines, uh, what vulnerabilities were discovered this week. So let's say, for example, I just want to see what are the latest cyber threat headlines. And now our AI agent has fetched what the latest uh, cyber threat headlines are and is now providing us with a summary. So it looks like something has dropped with SonicWall recently. Uh, of course, Microsoft's patch Tuesday to probably have that big issue with SharePoint, uh, which was exposed a few months back. Uh, poor Fortinet seems to always have, have vulnerabilities. We can see some evolving rack campaigns. That's kind of interesting. So advanced remote Trojans our bypassing from security researchers. Let's say it also provided us with the URL. And sure enough, here we see an article published yesterday, how evolving rats are redefining enterprise security threats. And so this is something that the AI agent deemed as something that, hey, this could be interesting to read up on since you're interested in the latest kind of cyber threat headlines. So we're getting a wealth kind of information here as well. I can also ask a question, uh, uh, since I picked on SharePoint, I'll say, what can you tell me about the latest SharePoint vulnerability? Let's see what the AI agent is able to retrieve. So here we see uh, getting information back. The Microsoft SharePoint vulnerability was disclosed of July 19th of this year, affecting on-premise SharePoint servers. Vulnerability allows unauthenticated remote attack attackers to execute arbitrary code. Uh, we can see it's been flagged as a critical. We also get a uh, link to the sources as well. So that's also something that's really helpful, right, that we can read up further on this. It's also pulling from some news and intelligence feeds, such as, I guess, there was a demonstration at Black Hat this year of them discussing the recent uh, SharePoint vulnerability. So let's say, for example, in this knowledge base, up uh, to more of our YouTube videos, our uh, features that we have 
built into Copilot. So for example, if I wanted to like Office 365 API integration, I could in integrate directly with our Sock Fortress knowledge base, which you can also explore for yourself on our support portal. Um, you don't need an account to view our, our knowledge base articles. Um, so I'll also link to this in the description below if you're interested. So here we can actually see the knowledge base articles that it is uh, referring to, and it's able to break down uh, the knowledge base articles into something a little more uh, digestible. I can also, for example, if you're interested in upgrading Copilot, get some insight into how can I actually upgrade Copilot. And we're going to continue to add on to our knowledge base uh, really as much as we can. So if there's any topics or anything that you think that you feel would be really beneficial, if there were knowledge base articles that could maybe help others out as well, then please do let us know. We'd, we'd love to hear that feedback and would would love to continue to grow out our kind of base articles um, that we're able to, to provide. Um, and here we can actually get the steps to upgrade Copilot. So pretty nice and handy little feature. And lastly, a personal favorite of mine is the attack surface. Features. So here I can ask the agent to search for breaches related to a particular email or search for exposures regarding a service. So let's say search for exposures, let's say regarding www.sockfortress.co. And so we see no corporate email addresses or user accounts associated with sockfortress.co have been found in a public breach database. So that's always a good sign. What about if I wanted to check a particular password? Let's say, has this password, password123, been exposed? And sure enough, as expected, this is no surprise here that the password has been exposed in multiple data breaches. But let's see if any services that I've signed up for have had data breaches. Good. Looks like not. Let's try, for example, let me try for a previous email of been found for info at opensecure.co, which those who have been watching the channel for a while knew that this was a the previous company. Nothing there either. That's good. What about for a Gmail account of test at gmail.com? And I imagine this is probably a pretty popular email account, like dummy email account that people maybe use to sign up for subscription services or a free trial when you don't want to actually provide your real email. I know I've also taken advantage of a tactic like this in the past. <laughs> and sure enough, here we do find that there have been numerous data breaches. So a quick and nice, easy way for you to be able to analyze any attacks at like public attack surface exposure points that could be an entryway for attackers to get into your organization. So it's going to wrap it up for today's video. I just wanted to showcase some of the new features that we've added to the AI chatbot. It's been a really fun project to, to work on, actually. And, and I'm excited to bring these uh, features directly into Copilot. So I appreciate your time. I will see you in the next one.